welcome to Nareshai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In the last video, we did talk about types of variables like a class level and a local. And again, class level variables are classified into two types like a static variables as well as non static variables. And how the static variables are going to be loading and initialized. And also, we did talk about uh, how to communicating with the static data, same class static data as well as non static data. And, uh, and one more point I discussed uh, like if any one object is doing modification on top of static data, those modifications are affected to other objects also. Especially in this video, I am going to be talk about the another type of uh, primitive variable that is non static primitive variable that is non static primitive variable so what is the meaning of uh, primitive non static we have one more terminology also guys that is instance what is the main intention of uh, non static variable the main intention of the non static variable is to represents to represents individual data to represent individual data simply we can say as what uh, not a common for all if you want to represent the data as an a common for all we should go for static if you are not represent the data as any common for all nothing but if you want to represent as data as an individual to any particular object then we can go for concept like what here non static now observe here the non static variable examples like account number as well as account holder name like uh, pin number like amount so all these variables are what uh, non static type nothing but non static means i told you like individual every customer having its own account number one account number is not matched with uh, another account number as well as uh, one account pin number account holder pin number is not matched with uh, another account pin number so the data which is represent for only one object the data technically we can call it as what instance or non static now how to represent this type of data how to represent uh, this type of data very simple if you are not using any static keyword that is a representation of what non static for example short pin equal to 3 4 5 6 in the same manner double amount equal to 10,000 amount equal to 10,000 yes now if you are not using static keyword that is we can representation of what here non static or instance data for example observe here why i am calling this non static data as an individual data very simple i am taking two accounts this is account 1 and this is account 2 this is account 1 and this is what here account 2 now in the account 1 amount like what 10000 rupees is there in the account 2 in the account 2 nothing but uh, amount like uh, in the account to like 5000 now one end user is going to be deposit the money one end user means what account one holder is going to be depositing money in his account that is what observe is going to be deposit some money for example he is depositing amount like uh, deposit uh, amount like what uh, 5000 so this 5000 is going to be added to only account 1 this 5000 is going to be added only for account 1 then become a how much many 15000 become a 15000 
there is no updation for what account to there is no updation for what account to the reason is the reason is your amount is what individual data if any one customer is going to be deposit the money in his account that deposit only happen to that account only not happen to not updated to other account this type of thing we can call as what non static or instance data now if you want to communicating with any data in java language any data means either static data or non static data first we should provide the memory for data itself if you go for the static jvm by default we provide what memory but if you go for the non static jvm not providing the memory default very important point here note point jvm not provides memory for non static data by default non static data by default so then who will providing the memory again memory is going to be provided by the jmu only but not by default then when it is going to be creating memory for our data programmer must and should be programmer must be make a request programmer must be make a request to jvm how programmer is going to be make a request to the jvm how programmer make a request to the jvm request means here object creation request means here object creation whenever we creating an object by the programmer then only jvm will provide the memory for non static data for example if i am writing like a short pin equal to 3 4 5 6 most of the people feels like a 3 4 5 6 is placed into the memory and pointed by the pn automatically no when this data is going to be getting the memory when this uh, pin is going to be get the memory and when 3 4 5 6 is placed in that pin man, uh, memory whenever we creating an object then only all these things are going to be happen so if you want to provide the memory for non static data definitely what we required object creation we required definitely what we required object creation we required so then how many objects can we write or how many objects can we create for one particular class for we can we can create multiple objects for one particular class for example course is one class what is the objects java is one object and um, php is one object and oracle is one object these are all what uh, objects of the course these are what uh, uh, what we can called as a, if you treated course as in a class java php and oracle all these are what here objects that means for one single class we can create uh, multiple objects that means that means we can create multiple objects for one particular class now i already told you whenever we creating an object then only jvm will provide the what memory then here i clearly mention one point as many objects we created for one particular class those many memory locations are given by the jvm for what non static data let me repeat it one more time non static data is getting the memory by the jvm meanwhile of object creation as many objects we created for one particular class those many times non static data will getting the memory those many times non static data will getting the memory how the non static data is going to be getting the memory again in two phases those are what non static loading phase as well as non static initialization phase non static loading phase as well as what non static initialization phase in my playlist uh, i already discussed earlier how non static data is going to be loading and initialized and each and every point i mention before going to the uh, the remaining details of this video will you please go through my playlist that is around the sixth video i think so fifth video is related to static uh, uh, variable loading phases and initialization phase and sixth video is non static loading phase and initialization phase okay so the summary of this video is mainly class level variables are categorized into two types one is the non static and the one is the static already we discussed about the static the exact meaning of non static is what individuality so if you are doing any modification on individual data only those 
modifications are affected to one end user or one object those modifications are not affected to another objects okay and uh, i told you like how to represent uh, non static data and also some of the example for non static data and when the non static data getting the memory whenever we creating an object by the programmer automatically non static will getting the memory in two phases non static loading phase and non static initialization phase i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe naresh it channel thank you Thank you.